also suggest you to practice a lot of MCQs because the more you drill, the more your brain will be adapted to different possibilities. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mubasil bin Mudassir, first year MBBS student at Kaide Azam Medical College, Bahawalpur. My MDCAT marks were 185 out of 210 and FACD result was 993 out of 1100 and I received 1001 marks out of 1050 in my metric and my aggregate was 90.78%. As you all guys know that uh, there is no specific date announced for the MDCAT test, you guys don't have to lose your motivation. Keep close to your books, don't skip even a single day. When you'll be admitted to a, a medical college, I promise you that you'll be having a lot of time to enjoy before the uh, commencement of the classes. You in that in that time you can enjoy whatever you want, party with friends, or even watch a lot of seasons. But for now, you have to keep your focus to a single objective. I totally agree that it is too much upsetting, and it should be. But you, the MDCAT test is not just to test your memory or knowledge or your understanding. It also prepare you to cope up with the upcoming challenges too. Talking about my own experience, I prepared complete books and discouraged the idea of selective study and it helped me a lot. I practiced MCQs from different workbooks and I also suggest you to practice a lot of MCQs because the more you drill, the more your brain will be adapted to different possibilities. The mistake I made in solving the MCQs was that I was very quick to mark the option. So you have to read the statement vigilantly, then make a provision, and then you jump to the answers. Rectify the options and then you'll be selecting the best suitable option left. You have to be careful with the negative statements and the statements using word except. As there is no specific date announced for the test, you should remain mentally prepared for any possible date. Don't let your concepts get vanished. Keep in touch with your books. Do scanning, do visual, visualize diagrams, do scanning reading, whatever approach you would like to, but at least do any topic, even a single topic every single day. And those who are going to academies, Listen to your teacher with full attention in the lecture because it helps you to revise the concepts even if they are repeating the already repeated stuff. The day before the exam should be a relaxing day. Why I'm saying that? Let me quote a previous incident. There was a BS student who prepared the whole night before the exam and didn't even took a single hour sleep. On the exam day, she was uh, like knowing all the answers, but she wasn't able to write anything on the paper. So your last day must be a relaxing day. Don't let your uh, year hard work be wasted by only a single day overload. Spend your time with your family and get engaged in uh, your favorite recreational activity, which boosts your mind up. At the exam day, wake up early, offer your Fajr prayer, recite Holy Quran, do some exercise, take a healthy shower and eat something good in the breakfast. Enter the exam hall with all the positive energy you got and inshallah you will be able to secure a medical seat. I hope that this video helped you to get answers to your most of the questions. Still, if you have any further queries, you can ask in the comment section down below. Just subscribe the channel, like the video, and best of luck for your exam. Thank you.